will line himself up as they come towards look at this passed already as he goes into fisherman and that's how easy it was when he got some clear road engel makes up his place but he's been held back and bulked by the porsche and now the audi wants to get past as well and daryl's a sitting duck unfortunately and uh, the vlt man is trying to do his best he's racing too remember and uh, Eduardo Motara increases his lead over Farfus by six seconds now. The good news is that Augusto Farfus in the BMW, the car doesn't seem to be too hindered. 239, 229 on that lap by Augusto Farfus. So despite the fact it's not quite as pretty from behind the BMW as it should be, um, it seems to be going that way. Yeah, and there's another BMW on the run. And look at this, light flashing everywhere here as Manor Angle's pulled away significantly here. And Daniel Junkadella is up to eighth position in the green and grey. There, you just saw him flashing through your shot. He's back into contention. Marco Whitman's gone up to 10. And Rafael Marchiello has hit it. Now, was that because no. of the incident? No, it's, it's still... Incident involving cars. No further action. No further action. Now, so that's a problem then. So... Some, uh, Marcello's had some sort of... Uh, well, there was contact. Uh, yeah, he's out of the car. That is over. Yep. Yeah. There he is, and yeah, that car is puffing. Oh, well, I don't need to tell you, that is a mess. He got hit in the front, and I think the radiator's completely kaput, and so he might say in Germany, and the Italian, having had a great run in his debut of GTs, is out. So one Merc down, and the field continues. It's Eduardo Mortara by six and a half seconds from the Brazilian Augusto Farfus. And Robin Frins is in third place. And Frins' last lap, 239-4, on the pace and given some open space. Who knows what he might achieve? But look at Nico Muller, Mullering his way into trying to make Darrell O'Young make a mistake. One thing I will say for Darrell O'Young, he doesn't make that many mistakes, and he certainly won't be pressured into a mistake by those behind him. He knows what he's doing here, he's done it all before, and he's done this sort of work himself while chasing others here at the Macau Grand Prix. He won here, as I said, in 2008. He's won multiple times in a Porsche here. It's getting an awful lot of coverage as well around the world here, and uh, that can't be a bad thing with the sponsors all over the car. Down from the Malco well, here, they before. come then. Eduardo Motara, Augusto Farpas, Robin Prince, the three podium positions, three different manufacturers on those three with 14 laps to go. Just trying to look at the incident involving uh, 18 and Marcello 888. I think I agree with the uh, with the stewards on that one. I don't think there was any need for any further action, and then it doesn't matter anyway. Yeah, it is. 